Hi there fellow guitar slingers, Josh Rogers here. Today's video is going to be a review of this, the RG8527Z. This is my guitar that I'm using now on tour. I've had it for about four months and while I'm at it, I bought it second hand. So this is a pre-loved guitar and I got it from my good friend who works at Ishibashi Music Store in Tokyo. His name is Jason McNamara, big ups to you mate. Thanks a lot for sending this through to me. I was actually in New Zealand when he sent it through and then I flew out to China for a tour. So I've had this guitar for about three or four months and typical Ibanez guitar, it's solid. You need dependability sometimes, you know, especially if you're touring like I am. And this guitar is dependable. I've had nothing go wrong with it yet. All I had to do was give it a slight adjustment when it arrived in New Zealand. And that's just a personal thing, nothing to do with the guitar. But you know, guitars, you, you set them up to suit your own way of playing and your own, your own feel. Let's get into the specification. First of all, obviously, it's a seven string. It's my first seven string. For me, I was pretty excited for that reason too, to get it. It's a J Custom, which means it's made in Japan by some of Ibanez's top guitar gurus. They use a lot of the best materials that they have. But this guitar is right up there. Even though it was second hand, it did cost me quite a lot, but I expect to get many years of use out of this guitar. So for me, it was just an investment in my profession. So let's start up at the top here. It's got some lovely tuners and the, you know, almost the obligatory uh, locking nuts here to keep everything in tune while you're giving it some serious vibrato abuse. Back onto the neck, it's got 24 frets, all lovely and playable. The neck itself is made from uh, five-piece maple and wenge wood. Uh, I checked on the pronunciation of wenge, I've heard it you know, a few different ways, wenge, wenge. I think you can rest assured that the correct pronunciation is wenge. It's also got uh, dual titanium KTS rods inside the neck for any adjustments and to keep everything nice and strong and in line. It has the Tree of Life inlay here. Uh, some people love it, some people don't. I love it, you know, <laughs> that's me. Uh, everything is personal and subjective, so I don't care if people are gonna hate on this. It's uh, my guitar and I like it. And the fretwork is absolutely great on the neck. It plays really, really well. The body is made from matched African mahogany and the top is triple A grade maple, as is the binding here. Yeah. Two humbuckers. Both of them are the same, they're the Damasio PATH 7s. The tremolo system is the Edge 07 tremolo with the ZPS3 system at the back here. If you don't know what that is, you can just go and check that out on the Ibanez website. There's no need for me to really go in and explain what it is. This is my first time using this type of uh, tremolo system. I always had the old ones. This is really nice, it's got some pretty cool features. Got your basic volume and tone control here, and five-way pickup selector. I don't have any anything negative to say about the guitar. Uh, it does exactly what it's supposed to do for me. I'm running this through a Fractal Audio AX8, just in case you're wondering. And this is one of the presets. If you check out one of my other videos, uh, I talk about the three most versatile presets that I think are inside the AX8. And I'm going to demo all of them now, so you can hear what this guitar sounds like. Really distorted, crunchy, and clean. So you've already heard it distorted, but um, you know, I love distortion, so I'm going to give you a little bit more. That's on the bridge pickup. We switch all the way to the neck pickup. Crunch setting. That's on the bridge pickup. 
flick over to the neck. Uh, for this clean setting, I find that it kind of nails Prince's tone from Purple Rain, so I've kind of called it the Purple Rain patch. A little bit of chorus in there. Really, really nice. If I switch it all the way to the neck pickup. And all the way back to the bridge pickup. What I like is that there's so much tonal variation between there. That. That's really good for me because sometimes I don't like having to go through a whole lot of different patches or presets or whatever. I just like to see what the guitar itself can give me. In this particular instance, with this guitar, I get a huge range of sounds. Even though it's just an HH configuration, not HSH, I still find that with the five different settings here, I can cover so many different sounds with just one patch or one preset. It allows me to concentrate on other things when I'm on the gig, which is nice. If you've enjoyed this review and it's helped you in some way, please give me a thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe to my channel. Enjoy yourself, you know, I'm here to help people, help others progress and maybe be exposed to something that they're not exposed to otherwise. That's the whole point of my channel. As you know, let your fingers fly.